<clears throat> hey guys, Cube under here. Um, just been doing a little bit of a workout just in the garden. Um, so it's just a like a another run on the whole fitness thing. I've been talk, I've talked about it a few times. Um, you got to go out, you got to train. Um, one of the that's one of the important things about any sort of preparedness or whatever. Um, but I don't I don't like regular gyms. I got a boxing gym, um, but you know gyms in general cost money, and I'm always trying to save money and stuff where I can. It's a lot easier if you can just go out and do something in your backyard. Now, if you go and pick up yourself something like a second-hand boxing bag for a reasonable price, this is a Madison HT75. Um, I think it weighs probably oh, maybe like 35 kilos at most. Um, it's not too big, but it's just a bag. Um, now, this enables you to do a lot of stuff at home. Um, just regular boxing stuff. Um, you could try like kickboxing, whatever or you can use it just as a weight um, so that's one of the other things that I go out and do is um, just you gotta you just got to think about it really is the only thing so you can do lots of different exercises with just any kind of weight um, a bag as well is it's a lot softer than kettlebells or whatever um, so it's easier to sort of do things with it's also nice and long um, so it's similar sort of shape to a human torso I suppose um, now you can do anything from squats and lifts and curls and just anything explosive you can um, do like shuttle runs with it on your back or carrying it or um, you can do sort of a similar version of what they do with the um, you see people do with the crack doors when they come along and slip them or yeah, whatever like it's not as not as hard as with the tractor tire but um, what you can do like, what you get excuse the view uh, you got a Which is a good exercise to do when you're on your back. Sort of so you might have to use a ground fighting or whatever, just getting used to those muscles getting used, as well as learning how to drive off the opposite leg and get the rollover. Um to do squats with it on your back, um, just lots of basic stuff. But so as far as my workout gear goes, um, you don't need that much more. Well, you know, then I use a boxing bag and then gloves obviously as well. Um, skipping rope, um, one of those grip strengthener things, and that's pretty much it, everything else is all body weight, so find somewhere to do pull-ups, um, you can go down to the local playground, um, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, um, anything like that, um, unweighted squats, squat jumps, so a squat jump's just like, you'd normally go into a, a squat, and then you just make sure you come up the top, seems easy enough, but if you do 50, or a hundred and a go, you definitely feel it. Um, push ups as well, uh, leg lifts. Um, if you've got a training buddy to work with as well, you can do a whole lot more exercises. But these are just sort of things you can do by yourself. Um, yeah, push ups, pull ups, sit ups, crunches, uh, squats, squat jumps, um, even just things like running. And then you stop every whenever you say when. Drop down, do 10 push-ups, get up, keep going. Um, all that sort of carry-on. Sorry, just got a, a notification on my phone. Um, it's all just about sort of you. If you don't want to pay the money to go to a gym or whatever, you can go and you just got to be inventive. Um, keep the training up. Try and do it a few times a week. It's not hard to set yourself half an hour at night. Um, probably preferably before dinner or at least give it a few hours after dinner. Um, and before you go to bed as well, I usually like doing it before bed because it knackers me out because that little bit extra, especially if, like I had a day off today, so I had a pretty quiet day just hanging out with my mates before he moves up to the other end of the country to start work because he just finished his degree but um, yeah, so it's not hard to find a little bit of time to squeeze some exercise in just make sure you're doing it, trying to keep it regular um, trying to get a bit of a routine going and um, always push yourself is the other thing um, you're not doing yourself any favours if you do, if you start off doing I don't know, um, 10 push-ups, and then you only ever aim for 10 push-ups and you stop, every now and again you should try and max yourself out, and doing it to fail, working out how far you can actually go, you never actually find out how far you can go until you push yourself, so, um, it's just the same sort of thing though, just go out, train, get amongst it, same as thing with any kind of weapons you're using, or anything like that, any equipment, test it, um, go out tramping, test your, um, your survival gear, go out shooting, test your shooting gear, you set up your technique, go out training, go to a fighting gym, not a crappy um, 
non-contact one, like, I know a few guys, and they went off and they started doing karate, and it was like, oh yeah, that's cool, you're going out and doing stuff, and you're chatting at them, and <laughs> they do non-contact karate. <laughs> what the fuck is the point in that? Um, and you talk to them like, oh, it's, it's exactly the same, it's just you don't get punched, and I'm like, you fucking don't know what you're doing, like, if you don't, if you don't know how to take a punch, and then keep doing your te like, you know, stick with your technique, stick with your form, then there's no point in doing it, it's the whole sort of, that, I think it was a military saying, it was like, no plan ever survives first contact, if you're not going out there and you don't know exactly what you're going to do under stress, getting punched in the face is fucking stressful, if you don't know how to, because that's the first thing, when I started boxing, when you get punched, first thing you do is you cover your fucking face. You get punched in the face. It's just reaction. It's like cover what's getting hit. And then I can't see who's hitting me. Then he fucking steps off to one side, comes around and hooks me in the side of the face. Then I'm fucking in real trouble, aren't I? Um, so go out there, find a good like a gym with a good reputation, fighting gym, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, whatever the hell is your poison. Um, there's no point in arguing about which is better. The better one's the one you're actually good at and you know how to do. Um, rather than talking about semantics, but anyway, um, there's just another training reminder and some fitness and um, talking about how to sort of mix it up a little bit, you might give you some ideas, might help you out, so um, anyway, cheers guys.